Where's the alpaca? Hi! <laughs> Pretty sure this constitutes me in the den. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, the running channel presents to get me out of here! Hi, I'm Paul and I'm from South Wales. Paul commented on the Running Channel's video on YouTube to set the next challenge. I challenged the Running Channel to do a scavenger hunt. Anna, Andy, Rick and our new All-Stars challenger, record-breaking ultramarathon runner, coach and journalist Damien Hall will be taking on this challenge. The rules for this challenge are as follows. You have to run at least 10 kilometres in the time given to you. You have each been sent a list of items that will win you points on your scavenger hunts. Each item holds a different point value and there are three categories. Wildlife, nature and weird finds. You can only count each item once, so no repeats. And as Damien is a fan of doing his bit to help the environment, recently cleaning the Pennine Way of litter during his fastest known time attempt, we'll be giving out bonus points for every 100 grams of litter picked up during your run. The person who gets the most points at the end of the scavenger hunt wins. Oh, and you might be wondering who I am. I'm Sarah and I'm usually behind the scenes setting the challenges, but today I'll be keeping a close eye on the scores. So who do you think is going to win? Let's find out. Scavenger hunt. Okay, you've gone big. I've got my pen here because I'm about to write down the items on my hand because then I don't have to remember them or get my phone out. It's quite wet today, so I feel like I'm not gonna wanna be getting my phone out to keep checking the items. Not feeling too much pressure because it's less about time and more about what I can spot, but definitely gonna be a disadvantage to me because I use the trails and running in the countryside to escape and I just don't really think about anything, let alone my surroundings, so I very rarely take it in. The one I'm not too worried about, I'm pretty confident of, is uh, two, point, two points for finding fungi. And as you can already tell, I'm a fun guy. It's gonna get messy, it's gonna get mucky, but I'm gonna try and find some alpacas. From a tactics perspective, I've been told we're gonna get extra points for every 100 grams of rubbish that we pick up. Now I've never really noticed lots of rubbish in these woods, so I might have to actively seek out busier sections where people more often visit. That's why I've got this bag, so I can collect that rubbish if I do find it. And I'm hoping to do that in the last five or 10 minutes of my one hour time limit so I'm not carrying around lots of heavy rubbish for a 10k run. Right we're off, 75 minutes, 10 kilometers. Let's go, so two points already, body of water, yes. I'm like 20 seconds in, dogs, dogs, look, dogs, can I get them to come say hello? Come on, hello, hey puppy. <laughs> No. I've gone the wrong way just to go and say hello. No points apparently for swans. Disappointing. Yes, big win. Really early into my run and I've already spotted this. This definitely constitutes a den as far as I'm concerned and I'm pretty sure this constitutes me in the den. Yes. One minute 20 in and here is a body of water and some mountain bikers. I am crashing this. Oh, I don't pull over. Morning! Can you say piece of cake for me? Piece of cake? Yes! This I think is where I'm gonna find the alpaca. This is the, the wildlife hospital. And I understand they've got an alpaca. Where's the alpaca? Let me just find the alpaca. You can normally smell them before you see the alpacas. Excuse me, have you got an alpaca in there? Yeah. Which way? That way. Oh, this is the toughest five points. Oh, I've got to get over all this flaming water just to see the flaming alpaca. And there's the alpaca. You see it? No. Five points. No points. Look at the price I have to pay. Oh. Ha ha. Oh. A way marker, one thing left. Pretty sure that counts. Fallen trees. Oh my word. This is just too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna appeal to the panel of judges about swans. Two swans, they're a couple. They've been living here for a few years in our river, the Bybrook. 
We also get a, a heron down here sometimes. It's lovely. No points. Hopefully that's another two points. Yes. Sausage dog in a coat. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> water. 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 My aim today is to find as many dens as possible. Because a den will give me 50 points. Did you read the rules, Rick? Each item is counted once. Okay, fungus. Oh. Those definitely count, right? So we stopped, because we just found this massive oak tree. So I'm looking for acorns, but what do I find at the bottom? Oh yeah, he looks like a fun guy. A fun guy. Where are all the acorns? There's oak tree leaves. So where are the acorns? How are there no acorns? Oh, there's even more of that fun guy though. Check these bad boys out. Ooh, they're cool. So way marker. Oh, pointing left. Yay, right. This dog's gonna come up to me. Hello. 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 Five points. Body of water. Check that one off the list. Awesome. Dog. Woof. Hey puppy. <laughs> It's all right. Just found some mushrooms to take a photo of and I found a friend. I just had to justify why I was in bushes because trail runners, bushes, forest, toilet. <laughs> I promise I wasn't going to the toilet. That's what they all say. Look out, acorns and fungi, I'm coming for you. Wait, hold on. This is a den. It hasn't been used for a little while, but I'm claiming this is a den. So who's this? Roxy. You don't look like you want to come and say hello, actually. I think I might, I, I think I might have jinxed this. Oh no, you jump up at everyone. Do you want to come say hello? No, it does not want to come and say hello. It's all right. Roxy. <laughs> You're being super helpful, but I actually think that this would be cheating, so I won't, I won't claim it. But if I can ask you to say the eagle has landed on camera, then I also get some points. The eagle has landed. Yes, absolute legend. Thank you so much. <sighs> Litter. <sighs> it's at least 100 grams. 100 grams. More like 20 grams, Rick. Oh, my acorns. Come on. Oh, that's like an acorn holder. <sighs> Must be acorns around here. That's a oak tree. No acorns. Ah. You know what? It's because of the squirrels. They're eating the Oh, does that count? Squirrels eating it. See, I did love squirrels a minute ago, but they might have cost me a point. Squirrels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One point. Ten dogs. Ten dogs. Ten dogs. One point. I'm not sure if it's coming across, but this is probably the most fun I've had out on a run in absolutely ages. Definitely the most fun I've had shooting something for a running channel challenge. So if you're looking for something to do to get you out the door, maybe to get you out running with the kids while park run or other events aren't happening then make yourself a list, use our list, head out for a run, walk or run or mix them up and enjoy it. I've come so far into the forest looking for a den that I don't know which way I get out. <laughs> uh, I'm a running channel presenter, get me out of here! 50 points. He has not found a den. He's found the den, he's found the den. No one, no one points. lives in there. Got a horrible, dirty, rubbish people. Coffee cup and plastic lid. I don't know if this couch is extra strong, but there's two of them, which makes it stronger. You can have that. Good news and bad news. I found litter. Bad news. But now good news. 
because it's extra strong lager slash cider, which means, was that five points? Oh, I thought I had my way marker pointing left. What if it's hot? Oh, that's annoying. Yes, mountain bikes, definitely on the list. That's four of them. It's a shame we can't count them multiple times. Finally, someone listening to the rules. I'm claiming, hopefully you can see, fungi. They've been nibbled. It's probably those squirrels again, trying to deny me points. Litter in hand, and he's found the fallen tree. Fallen tree. Ding, 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 points, points, points. Points mean prizes. I knew there'd be a den around here. Look at this lovely den. I'm going in. Oh, it's very spacious. Oh. 50 points, thank you very much. Morning, I'm from the Running Channel on YouTube. Right. This is our favorite phrase. Finish lines, not finish times. <laughs> thank you very much, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Come on, lads. Oak tree, that must mean acorns. Yep, here we go. Winner, take that one off. Listen, a cone. Uh, 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 oh, how much does it weigh? Three kgs. Uh, running uphill with a cone. Ah, uh, it's flicking exhausting. Uh, 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 <laughs> Flipping heck! Now I've done some silly things for the running channel, but this seems to take the biscuit. I'm running through a field with a cone, looking for a bin. Found a bin. I've never been so happy to see a bin. Ah! <sighs> Why is everything right? Oh, come on! Please be left. Those are definitely horses. Yes. Stella. Not quite cider, is it? But goes in my bag. I've got to go really fast to actually complete this now. If I miss the time, because I found too many flaming dens. One den. How many times, Rick? One den. 50 points. One. So I've not seen a speck of litter in the woods themselves and then the moment that I step onto the road there's actually quite a bit so I guess that tells you a story about certainly in this area anyway where the rubbish comes from people throwing it out of car windows I hate you <laughs> 10k that's it I spent the last 10 minutes sprinting up and down a stretch of road and this is my reward, lovely. We got a dog, water, three points, lots of fungi. I am so chuffed with my haul. I think I probably did all right. Give myself a seven or eight out of 10. The question is, is whether the others got some one of those 100 pointers for getting a famous person. Fallen tree, six, seven, acorn, arguably eight, den 50. I hope I've done enough. The den will have got me some good points. But I thought actually that I would top them up nicely with a load of litter and I was all ready to pick up loads. But that's all I've got. I don't even know if that's hundred grams worth. So well done people for putting your litter in the bin because I haven't actually had to pick up barely any. If I top that up, Pretty sure that's yeah three four five five, five trillion um, and anyway either way I won by a lot. So we've seen the presenters scavenge for all they could find on their runs. Unfortunately, there's no points for bringing back mud brick. Let's take a look at the results. Damien finishes up with 73 points. Sadly, no extra points for all those swans. Next up, it's Anna. She spent half her time saying hello to dogs, but surprisingly still came away with 79.5 points. 
And now for Rick, who definitely needs to factor in time for reading the rules before the next challenge. If it wasn't for that cone, his score would have been much lower. But with an added 30 points, he finishes up with 52 points. Go have a shower, Rick. And then lastly, it's time for Andy's score. He had a good run and some great tactics and they paid off, leaving him with a score of 92 points. So the final leaderboard is Rick in fourth, Damien takes third place, Anna a close second and Andy takes the crown in first place. A huge thank you to Damien for taking part in Challenge Accepted for this episode. Who do you want to see us take on next as an all-star challenger? Let us know in the comments below and leave your challenges for us too because we do do them and it could be yours that we pick for our next episode. So make sure you leave a comment below and we'll see you next time for Challenge Accepted on The Running Channel.